On Monday, a court in Bangladesh sentenced Nobel laureate Muhammad Yunus to six months in jail for violating the country's labor laws. While Yunus' sentencing is termed as politically motivated by his supporters, let's take a look at why the Sheikh Hasina government wants the economists behind bars ahead of the general elections. The 83-year-old economist credited with lifting millions out of poverty with his microfinance bank, Grameen had earned the ire of Sheikh Hasina, who even went to the extent of accusing him of sucking blood from the poor people. Yunus also won the Nobel Laureate Peace Prize in 2006 for his anti-poverty campaign, earning Bangladesh the reputation of being the home of microcredit through his bank, which he founded in 1983. The verdict that comes just days ahead of the January 7th general elections in Bangladesh ordered Yunus, along with three other executives of the social business company, to serve prison sentence. The four convicted were also slapped a taka of 25,000, a fine which is approximately 227 US dollars individually, adding that they would have to serve 10 more days in jail in case of a default. Soon after the judgment was passed, Yunus and the three executives sought bail, which the judge granted immediately for a month in exchange for taka of 5,000 baht. Under the law, all four can appeal against the verdict in the High Court. But this is not the first time. Yunus has been charged for violations. In 2011, Bangladesh's central bank forced him out of Grameen Bank on the grounds that he had served beyond the mandatory retirement age of 60. In 2013, authorities accused Professor Yunus of evading taxes on overseas income, which supposedly included his Nobel Prize award and royalties from a book. Yunus is facing more than 100 other charges over labor law violations and alleged corruption. He told reporters after one of the hearings last month that he had not profited from any of more than 50 social business firms he had set up in Bangladesh. Back in August, 160 global figures, including former U.S. President Barack Obama and former United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, published a joint letter denouncing the continuous judicial harassment of Yunus. The signatories included more than a hundred of his fellow Nobel laureates who said they feared for his safety and freedom. Analysts say Hasina's grudge against Yunus has a lot to do with what they call a tactical blunder. Riding on his popularity as Bangladesh's first ever Nobel laureate, Yunus in 2007 founded his own political party, the Nagorik Shakti. He was soon touted as a potential leader of a caretaker government to oversee the general elections. However, he abandoned plans to contest elections a few months later, citing a lack of support for his new political movement. Nevertheless, the following year, Hasina's administration began a series of investigations against Yunus. Critics have accused Bangladeshi courts of rubber-stamping decisions made by Hasina's government which is all but certain to win another term in an election boycotted by the largest opposition party, the BNP. Her administration has been increasingly firm in its crackdown on political dissent. And Yunus's popularity among the Bangladeshi public has for years earmarked him as a potential rival.